What's up, everyone? Today I'm going to take you on a walk through New York City's Penn Station, named after the Pennsylvania Railroad that used to be here. Today's date is Tuesday, October 17th, 2023. Time is about 2.45 p.m. and it's 61 Fahrenheit, 16 Celsius. Penn Station is the busiest train station in New York City, serving two branches of the New York City subway, Amtrak, New Jersey Transit, and Long Island Railroad. This is what eventually is gonna be here. You can see part of it is already finished. The state's been busy renovating this entire area. Across the street used to be the Pennsylvania Hotel, but that's been knocked down. And a new building's gonna be built on top of it. Madison Square Garden, the home of the New York Knicks basketball team, is right behind this construction site. And it's also been a major headache for the state because they really want Madison Square Garden to move. I'm getting allergic to the construction dust here. But the owners of Madison Square Garden don't want to. Chase is open during construction. There's an entrance to Penn Station that way and also this way. Many people got very bitter when the original gorgeous Penn Station got torn down but that led to the creation of the Landmarks Preservation Commission and Grand Central Terminal got saved. And what we got instead was just a bunch of buildings built on top of the really bad <laughs> replacement Penn Station. All the tracks were still underneath and a complete like maze of tunnels that was so confusing. People didn't really know where they were going down there. This is the entrance to Madison Square Garden. And here's Penn Station. There used to be a big uh, entrance to Penn Station on 7th Avenue. I have a feeling this video is going to be very helpful for people because already there was one person asking questions, confused where they were going. Actually, I should give my knowledge now. If you want New Jersey Transit, it's actually closer to enter at 7th Avenue than 8th Avenue. Long Island Railroad as well, 7th Avenue is better. Although you can get Long Island Railroad also at 8th Avenue, it's just that the platform is much longer, closer to 7th Avenue. And Amtrak 8th Avenue is better. The main, um, main facility for Amtrak is the Moynihan Train Hall, which is part of uh, Penn Station. I think many people get confused because that's all it is, it's a train hall. People thought it was a brand new train station, but it's just on top of Penn Station. Penn Station is the actual train tracks. It's 
So this is where New Jersey Transit is. It's still very much of a maze of tunnels in the New Jersey Transit side. And a lot of construction over here. And this is one of the problems with Penn Station. There's only one entrance here and everyone has to squeeze through this narrow entrance, which is what they're hoping to change with all these renovations. I don't really think New Jersey Transit is gonna to get too many new improvements though. It's more so for Long Island Railroad and Amtrak. This is the last call for New Jersey Transit 2.51 p.m. Montclair Bondi Line en route to Montclair State University with intermediate stops. Passengers should proceed to turn 11 West. What I can do, maybe I can go to the track level. Is this even open? Yep just to see the New Jersey Transit train that these people are boarding. Because what's New Jer um, Penn Station without seeing some trains at least? There's an Amtrak. It's very hot down here. Now I'm going to show you the Long Island Railroad side and what they've been doing to improve um, access and accessibility there. Here's the Long Island Railroad side. I have to do a double take because even I got confused a little bit. And as you can see, complete difference modern lighting now it doesn't feel like you're cramped in what i showed you was pretty much the old penn station and to be honest the city really needs these improvements
I love this mosaic of New York City, right with the skylight. There's also Long Island as well. There's not much retail here yet, if any. Dos Toros coming soon, Raising Canes. Is the customer service center for Long Island Railroad. But what I'm really shocked at is the lack of seating here. This is pretty much what old Penn Station used to look like on this side. Just a bunch of really narrow hallways and passageways like this. And not very aesthetically pleasing. Really feels cramped and dark in here. But I'm glad they really improved it a lot. It's a lot more lighting, a lot more space now. They even put in a fake sky here. This is the 8th Avenue New York City subway branch served by the A, C, and E trains. And if you go this way, this will actually take you underneath 8th Avenue to the other side. And we'll be able to enter Moynihan Train Hall, which is the uh, most impressive new building that's constructed on Penn Station yet. Okay, now we are on the Moynihan train hall side of Penn Station.
One big criticism that I have of the Moynihan train hall is that it's out of the way. Because a lot of the public transit, they take you over to the 7th Avenue side. And there's one avenue over. Also, again, lack of seating, unless you go to the ticketed waiting area and you have to show your train ticket. This entire area used to be part of the U.S. Post Office, which is still here, but a lot of the post office's space was used to make this train hall. I've actually used this train hall multiple times, primarily to take the Northeast Regional and Acela Amtrak trains to Boston. I like to head over to the back here because the last time I was here, there was a few empty spaces. I know the food hall is pretty much established. It looks like pretty much all of these spots are occupied now. Everything from bagel shops to pastrami, Italian food and salads. And it looks great to be honest. Here's burgers. Amtrak personnel are located throughout the station to assist you. Please check with the ticket office for baggage assistance or ticket transactions. Let's go around here and see what options are available along the perimeter. Five dollars for a slice of pizza here. Joe's Pizza, which is well known, charges four dollars a slice. Pizza looks very thin to me. Doesn't even look like a proper pizza crust. E A K Ramen. Got Jacob's Pickles, Southern Comfort Food. And Naya, Middle Eastern Food. 
So something, uh, a little bit of something for everyone here in this food hall. And you can't forget the Irish exit. Let's see what stores are open now. Towards the back of the train hall, I remember there was a lot of vacant space. There are, it's still? Yeah. I do, yeah. It's Action Kid. I do like neighborhood tours and walks to different cities. Today I'm covering Penn Station. Uh huh. This building, like you know, from start to what it is now, and it's gonna be like a whole mall. Yeah, they're trying to turn it into that, but I don't really see too many stores still here still. Yeah, there will be. Yeah. I see one store here in the back. Rain's opening soon. Malin and goats. Urban pops. So at least there's something here. It wasn't. Com it isn't completely uh, vacant like last time. So it adds a little bit more life to this area. Let's check this upper level too, and see what else is open. Maybe they could turn this space into an area that people would want to visit. take people away from the 7th Avenue side. That's how they can do it. That's what the outside of the train hall looks like and eventually they want to open up a space on the rooftop there. It's starting to come together, as you can see. Still a very slow rollout. And more of these construction panels are coming off. At least we can see what's here now. This could be a big um, retail space. I would think something like an Apple store would do very well here, but they're also in Grand Central Terminal. There's the Amtrak Metropolitan Lounge. Only if you pay for a premium ticket you can use this. Otherwise you have to use the general waiting area. There's restrooms over here and on the first floor.
There's Magnolia Bakery over here. All right, everyone. I hope you all enjoy that walkthrough of New York City's busiest train station. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Take care.